is Future of Honor Friday here at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City, New York. I am Joe Dombrowski, flying solo this week, but for very good reason. You'll find out why in just a second as we get ready for the introductions of this week's exclusive matchup. This contest is in honor club exclusive. Introducing first, making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 221 pounds, he is the self-professed king of Cleveland and the big daddy of destruction. And he demands that you give it up one time for Jay Rock Daddy. The seat next to me is completely empty. There is a freshness in the air. The birds are singing because I don't have to hear Jay Rock. Well, you still have to hear him no matter where you are in proximity to him. But I don't have to put up with him right next to me because he is competing this week in the Hammerstein Ballroom. J-Rock Daddy, 19-year veteran, started his career at Cleveland, Ohio, has branched out all over the world, every top promotion, in the best shape of his life. We've seen him before as an announcer and competitor. He's a modern-day renaissance man, but is he prepared to take on one member of perhaps the most decorated family in the history of professional wrestling as we send it back to Nick Lendl for the introduction. And his opponent from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 330 pounds, he is the warlord of the Samoan dynasty, Alpha Jr. You talk about important families in professional wrestling. Certainly, you talk about the Grams, you talk about the Rhodes, you talk about the Funks. But at the top of that list, for in, in many people's opinions, is the Anawahi family. You talk about Afa, Sika, the Tonga Kid, Junior Fatu, all of the cousins and relatives that are all over the world competing today. Afa Junior, one of the biggest, one of the baddest, one of the most dangerous of that family. A 20-year veteran in his own right and a natural athlete, as many in the Anawaii family are. Is J-Rock fully prepared as a kind of man who was a Division I football star at UConn, a, a two-time gold medal winner at the Arnold Classic in the strict arm curl? This guy's got power. This guy has athleticism. And he has been born and bred to succeed in this business from day one. He's literally grown up in this industry. But has he learned to give it up one time for J-Rock? I give it up one time each and every week. Whether I want to or not, sometimes it's forced out of me. Well, Afa Jr., the 330-pounder, pacing very impatiently as J-Rock makes Afa go at his own pace. The tie-up center on, ring, you can see the power demonstrated by Alpha Jr., who once upon a time was a tag team partner and ally of Cody in a past life. And J-Rock claiming that it is not about power in pro wrestling, which is a new memo to me. J-Rock knows that he can't match strength for strength with Alpha, but he does think he can outwit him. And he may have baited Alpha Jr. into that situation there. And that, no, J-Rock. You do not ever headbutt a Samoan. That's like pull number one. Oh, and there's the reciprocation by Alpha. J-Rock always runs his mouth, talks big every single week out here with me. Looking to back it up, big headbutt for a count of two. So many homages to the, the family of Afa Jr. From Afa and Sika to the great Samu. Oh, went for the shoulder thrust in the corner. That's where all the mass of Afa Jr. works against him. The momentum, the momentum excuse me, sent him right into that steel ring post to the outside. And you get a good look! Get a good look! And J-Rock is no frills. He's not out here for style points. He's out here to hurt you and show off that mouth. Oh! More than anything, as he may have broken his own hand, he being J-Rock, on the ring post, trying to take it to Alpha Jr. Back into the ring now, as the 330-pounder has a chance to potentially build some momentum, but J-Rock catches him coming back in. 
J-Rock well, into the cover now. Two count only. J-Rock was losing Afa on the neck finger, grabbed onto the hair, I believe, as an extra boost of adrenaline or momentum there. And J-Rock is certainly feeling it right now. I almost feel like J-Rock is next to me, even though he's several yards away. That's how boisterous his voice is. And J-Rock had the neck crimp, had that vice cinched in, but Alpha Jr., again, channeling some of his uh, relatives, got a little hungry. Now to his feet. Oh! And that's not just a Samoan drop, that is the Samoan drop. From the Samoan dynasty itself, no one does it better. And the quarter charge. And again, I don't know if you're gonna meet a more agile 300 plus pounder than several members of the Anawahi family, including Appa Jr. Oh, those chops to the back sting, and you can see the sweat fly off the back of J-Rock. Oh! The splash connects J-Rock out on his feet. Oh. That corner charge, that hip attack. Chandling one of his ooses, look out, two and no. Ekmo Fatu, professionally known as uh, Umaga as Ekmo, as a number of names. The late great, one of the best big men in the history of this business. And certainly family and pride runs very deep in the Anawaii clan and Alpha Jr. channeling so many of his relatives to help shape him into the competitor and the man that he is today as J-Rock has no clue what's about to come. And Paul Turner, the official, manipulated Set back into the ropes, the friction, the momentum, catches off off balance. J-Rock claims accident, I know him better. J-Rock is a manipulator, he is a con man, he will do anything it takes to get what he feels is deserved. J-Rock going superplex, this is a bit brazen. And eye for an eye there as far as the biting attack. And there you see the reciprocation again. Alpha Jr. sends J-Rock down in a heap. Oh, shades of the great Samu! Samu and Splash! Goodbye! Here is your winner, Alpha Jr. Decades and decades of history of championships, of main events, and, 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 and so much more to come from this family. And what a great honor it is to see Alpha Jr. as part of Future of Honor. And what a great moment it is for me to see J-Rock, after opening his mouth week after week, finally get to eat some crow. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for Future of Honor Friday this week. I am Joe Dabrowski for my good close friend J-Rock, who is incapacitated this time. We'll see you next week, everybody.